Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today is October 20th and I'm starting here by trying to hook up to the pallet forks which seems I'm lined up but every time I pull up it doesn't work. I should be able to get it this time. Let's hope. Good morning everybody. It's Tony. It's uh, October 20th. Um, it's a Wednesday morning here, uh, losing track of time, the time's really going fast. I'm in the wheel loader, I'm getting ready to head to our York County Farms, we got chicken litter scattered, or not scattered, dumped over there, my goal was to scatter it. Um, so I'm getting ready to leave here, I'm holding a GoPro that uh, I'm going to call our number one fan, uh, has given it to us, it was very generous. Um, so Ashlyn and I can uh, don't have to worry about having each having a or, yeah we each have a GoPro that we can uh, get footage at a couple different spots, uh, whoever whether it be Mitch or uh, if somebody else wants to as well. So I'm going to leave for York County. It's probably going to be an hour and a half ride on this thing to get there. It's not the fastest piece. Uh, downhill you can scoot pretty good, but uphill it's the opposite. Hitch just looks a little different. Like the, uh, I don't think it's, it shouldn't be different. You talking about the payloader? Yeah, it shouldn't be different. Um, did you push the same button in? Yeah, you can curl the bucket back and that'll help pull the pins out. OSHA approved. Time to get started. I'll pick them up like last time feel like I get more done this way and then I get to the bottom and I'm like oh I still got more work to do and if we weren't going slow enough we hit some traffic well hey it looks like we're moving already which is in York County, Pennsylvania. Uh, we, our dairy is only a mile from the river, so our, uh, the river kind of limits what we can do as far as what's west of us. So if we do go west, why it means we could have somewhat of a significant drive. And in our case, it's about 27 miles or so to our ground that we have. It's I had to hurry up neighbor wanted to borrow the loader because they're loading lime up in their uh, dry box fertilizer spreader I think that's what you'd call it dry fertilizer spreader they got a sassy massey hooked up to it it's a cool little tractor there's somebody in their gleaner getting some beans off must have been a dry morning this morning to be cutting beans already I guess there was no dew with the breeze going all right we're approaching uh, one of our farms here um, way up there in the field we have some manure piled and then right uh, in front of us but uh, I'm gonna keep going and go to the farm that's a little further away and get that one over with first and then we'll kind of work our way home so to speak but it's only it's only three and a half miles from here so it's not that much different but that's where we're gonna start we're approaching the well we're going by the farm that I'm gonna be covering first uh, here on the left side of the road see we got the 260 sitting over there with the pick right spreader on it um, not sure if it's the perfect setup for scattering chicken litter but it's a tool we have for hauling pen pack in the dairy and it serves its purpose doing this as well um, we don't exactly have a tool for every task on the farm. I think I've said that before. Um, we kind of take the vice grip adjustable wrench approach with some of our stuff. All right, we got here to the tractor. Um, 
we have around 68 acres to cover over here kind of probably as far as your eyes can see in the screen here there's a kind of a line going up to a road you can see over there there's some ground to cross the road and then uh, pretty much what you can see here there's a hill that goes down over where we can't see the other side and they're down to the woods so we got uh, several load of uh, chicken litter here uh, we're shooting to put about five ton of the acre on and uh, so probably going to kill most of my day here uh, and that depends on how it goes but like I said an hour and a half to get here I pretty much nailed that that really didn't take any more or less um, we lock our equipment up when we're this far from home you never know uh, who might get curious over here I didn't get to show you guys this yet, but I had someone in the comments ask, how do we clean out our hutch barns? Which I'm assuming he's talking about these, because I showed how we clean out the bit newer one, because it's nice. This has solid concrete in between. So, uh, we take these wood pieces out, as you can tell, and the gate, and we use this. This is, I don't even know, I don't even know the history on this. I don't know if, we made it or we bought it from somewhere that they made them uh, I feel like I've seen them in other videos but yeah so this hutch is 12 feet deep so this has to be long enough to reach to the back which I'll show you how we do that here it's fairly straightforward but yes is this unnecessarily long no it's not the first load spread out here I had some GPS slash well documentation recording the, on the Green Star computer screen thingy whatever I uh, had some drama with that and I didn't have enough battery left to record all that so um, going back for my second load here and uh, hopefully we can start uh, making tracks here as far as getting things done My battery's going dead, guys, so um, I believe I caught most of the load being unloaded. I'm going to come back tomorrow with a fresh battery. All right, I got the hutches all cleaned out. I'm going to go grab some lunch and come back and clean this all up. Uh, if you watch my other videos, I think I used a script the bottom part right here. I'm going to do that then as a finishing touch to make sure the rest is all cleaned out. Back from lunch, I'm just going to pull the spreader up here and I'm going to get rid of this. Crap. Oh. And before you know, it'll be feeding time. My only concern, as I climb the side of the spreader, that, that fit in this.
All right, so it was going smoothly with that piece there, but since this is uneven, this side wants to go upwards. Well, the skid loader, we are not a big fan of the way it drives. So I have, may or may not have messed up a gate. I hate showing this. Like I'm, I'm at the moment I'm ticked, but I this was all boogered up. I bent it back some as best I could. Uh, this is just going to be the main part to bend back, which I'll do that on my own time. Better reap what I sowed, but I just put another gate on the hutch here. I don't even know if you'll be able to tell which one's bent up. There's this one here because you see the paint, but I bent that back. Nothing a little sledgehammer action can fix. I had some stuff happen earlier, which I'll tell you guys in the next video after there's some time passed. But uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye for now and God bless. I had to go pick up my dad from York.